Ladies and gentlemen, how are we? Cameron Stewart calling in here from the uh, Southern Motorway heading north towards Auckland today. So I thought I'd just get on here and um, just quickly uh, share a message or share a uh, bit of a yarn. Um, as I, uh, I've got nothing else to do, uh, better I can be doing whilst I'm driving up the motorway other than listening to audios and, and uh, things like that. It's uh, 18 degrees here and it's raining, um, but it's still quite glary. So uh, sorry about the uh, glasses, but I'm just going to run with those at the moment. So look, what, what I wanted to um, <clears throat> just talk about really, um, I'm seeing it a lot. Um, I've seen it a lot lately with people that I know within my circle of people, or, of associates, associates, etc. Um, a lot of people spend far too much time focusing on the things that they cannot control um, and hence that they end up paralyzing themselves from progressing forward um, and uh, they overthink things they take other people's opinions they um, they they have self-doubt they have all this other stuff going on g'day Tristan g'day Jean how are you man um, and what they what most people do is they overthink things and they they overanalyze things and they never actually take any action um, and that's that's the biggest reason why most people uh, never progress now I'll use it use a, an example um, especially with first home buyers um, when they're getting into the market having dealt with a lot of these guys um, over the years is they just overanalyze everything you know oh we've got to get building reports, we've got to get a P-test, we've got to do this, we've got to do that, you know, and it's like, if you walk around a, a standalone home, you know, like a 1960s weatherboard home, for example, it's a fairly stock standard home, there's not really much can go wrong with it, so what, well, the reason why I'm using this as an example is people will overanalyze that property, uh, and just completely overanalyze it, and then, and then they'll miss out on a deal, and it's just... People are like this in life and anything. I, I know um, with our network, you, you, when I talk to people, people overanalyze things. They uh, they over overthink things, and really, you know, life is actually quite simple. Um, but we overcomplicate it in our mind, um, and it's because we're, we're 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 used to the world. You know, all the crap that's on TV, all the all the the stuff that fills our mind um, with with rubbish. We we, we, we are, so that causes uh, causes us to think the way we think. And um, I, I think, look, I've, what I've noticed lately, I've seen a lot of people um, that have a lot of potential, um, but they just don't, but no one can make a decision. It's like no one can make a decision. So they're paralyzing themselves from taking action. Um, you know, like, for example, people have, they might have thoughts go through, oh, I can't do that, I'm not that sort of person. I can't afford that, that's expensive. Um, so they start using all this self-doubt, all this really bad self-talk, and they talk themselves out of it. Um, and then what they do, what people do, is they go and blame other people for the reason why they're not progressing. Um, but really it comes down to you as a human being. And the reason why I wanted to, to cover this is I've, I've, I've really witnessed a lot of this lately um, from people I know, and I, I see people focusing on the situations that from the past, things that they cannot control, and they keep focusing on that negative, and you see, I see some of the crap some people put up on Facebook, and it's just negative, 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 it's like, stop focusing on the negative, start focusing on the things that you can control, and move forward, you know, but people keep focusing on the negative, focusing on the negative, Fo so if they're, if they're saying this stuff to themselves, and then they're posting it, what's happening is that they're drumming that negativity into their mind and hence they're getting a negative result. Now you can either believe me or not, but that I can tell you, that's why people don't progress, is because they they, they, they focus too much on the negative, oh, I've got no money, oh, you know, oh, oh, this this might go wrong, that might go wrong, oh, I'm, I get sick all the time. Well, you know, people talk themselves into this stuff. And, you know, so what I'm, the, the whole point behind this is, in life, you, you want to focus on the positive things. You want to focus on, on where you're going and, and, and all that, all those sides of things. Stop focusing on the past. Stop focusing on your weaknesses. Okay, yes, we need to identify our weaknesses so we can progress forward. But um, don't keep fo putting emphasis on those on those um, negative parts of your life that have been, you know, that, that have been and gone. Because 
as I say, it's gone, and we can't control that now. So, you know, the reason why I, I, I think it's just so important is people, that, that, that they say, oh, it's because of my personality type. I can't get the results. Oh, I've got broken focus. It's just like, for God's sake, just do it. Just make a decision and do it. It's not that hard. Now, I'm a choleric type personality, so that's an, uh, what we call a, an A plus uh, personality, so I'm a very strong uh, from that perspective, but what I don't understand is with, with people today, people are in a job, for example, that they don't like, um, but they're not willing to do anything to get out of it. Um, people are in a relationship that they're not quite happy with, but they, they don't have the guts to, to, to end it and move on. Um, there's so many things that go on in, in this life. Um, people are, are, are overweight, obese, um, and they just keep eating bad food and, and keep getting fatter and fatter. It's like, sooner or later you've just got to cut it, you know, and by the way, going back to that, you know, the whole um, food thing, I mean, I, I know myself, I, I tend to probably snack a little bit too much, but I know, I, I've identified that that's something that I need to work on, and I don't make an excuse for it, I just, well, okay, I've got to, I've got to fix that um, weakness, and I've got to nail it, um, but the thing is, most people most people just cop out. They just cop out about everything. I can't do this. Oh, you know, that business won't work. Oh, oh, I won't invest in that. Oh, I might lose money. It's like stop overthinking everything, guys. If you if you want to move forward with your life, sooner or later you've got to make a decision. And the thing is, most people never make a decision. They just keep poking life with a stick, keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again and keep, keep getting the same result. Cody, how are you, bro? We need to we need to have a yarn. I haven't, I haven't talked to you for a while, man. Hope hope you're all good. Um, and what I was saying in this video, Cody, was um, you know it's so important to stop focusing on the things that we can't control. Stop focusing on the past. Stop focusing on um, you know bad debt. Stop focusing on I've got no money. If you keep focusing on that, you're going to keep getting the same result. You know, and I can tell you this because having been in situations where I've run out of money and I've been in highly stressful situations um, but I didn't just keep focusing on that on that situation at hand I, I looked forward and thought well how the hell am I going to resolve this and that's the key guys don't keep looking back keep looking forward um, as I say I'm, I'm, I'm on the motorway heading up to Auckland what did you see Cody good mate all is well good to hear uh, it's um, bloody dry up here mate so we've got some rain today which is uh which is good so uh hopefully we get some grass growing back josh how are you man so stop overthinking then guy uh thinking things in life guys just sooner or later make a decision i don't care what it is that you do but mate if you if there's some if there's something that you want to do with your life stop cocking around and making a decision and start making the decision because it's not that hard okay yep bang i'm gonna do it okay but the thing is that when you say you're going to do something, just be consistent and persistent over a period of time and you'll get the result. See, the problem is I see with people is most people put a half-assed effort into everything. They start a they start a property investment. They go and do uh, one or two property deals. Then they uh, do a deal and they lose money, so they go back to their job. They go back to their comfort zone. Um, you know, people start in a, in a network marketing business, for example. They start it. Then, that, then they don't do any work and then they say it doesn't work because they're lazy and they're not willing to get off their ass. you know? That's what it comes down to. Of course the bloody work. There's, there's billions and billions of trillions of dollars globally get turned over in those types of businesses. Now, the same the same thing is in, oh, it, there's so many scenarios. Like, um, oh, people um, say, oh, that they, they sign up to the gym and they say, well, I'm not getting any results. It's, and I can use myself as an example here. The only reason I don't get ripped is because I eat too much bloody food. So I'm not going to blame that on the gym, am I? You know, that's just me copping out, saying and saying that I like a burger and chips and a beer more than uh, getting a six-pack. But I understand that, and I'm willing to admit that. But, see, most people go and blame everyone around them or all the circumstances that are around them why they're not progressing forward. And that's not the, that's not the reason. The reason starts with you and you only. And uh, the reason why I say this, why I do these videos too, guys, 
is when I teach this stuff, when I say this stuff to other people, I'm drumming it into my thick skull. Okay, because we all need to hear this stuff over and over and over again because you've got to get it drummed and stop making excuses. Start focusing on yourself and what you can control in your life and then you, you, the results will come. And the thing, that, look, I don't tend to focus on what other people are doing anymore. I just, it's, it's absolutely irrelevant. All I focus on now is what I can control. Um, I used to always get caught up and get worried about what other people are doing and comparing myself to other people and I just don't do it anymore because it's just not worth it you know all I need to do is focus on the race I'm running and where I'm heading and that's what you guys need to do for yourselves in your life g'day Brett how are you man hey um congratulations on the wedding brother um I've seen the photos awesome stuff man and uh we just had our one year wedding anniversary so we're a year down mate so uh hope all is well down in the in the deep south for you so, hey look, I'm going to finish up there guys, it's, um, it might cut out along here, it tends to go a bit funny sometimes. So, um, message really out of this um, particular video is, just focus on what you can control. Forget what everyone else is doing, focus on your own actions, okay, and what you can do, and you watch what, what will happen with your life, you watch the progression that will start to happen, you start to see the results that will start to happen, because you take your eyes off everyone else, and you put them on yourself, and be accountable, so when you make a decision to go and do something, be accountable to someone, and get the go out there and get the results, because that's why I do these videos, it's not for, I don't get any, make any money out of doing a video, you know what I mean, there's no, there's no money in this for me doing a video online um, so I, I do this because I want people to step up because I'm sick of seeing a bunch of guys walking around with their head between their legs like a little girl and they're worried about what everyone else thinks just get off your ass and go out there and make it happen stop worrying about what everyone else thinks and this is the thing like, so many stop worrying about the unknown what if what if this happens what if that happens if you keep living like that you never do anything and this is the biggest problem, people. So go out there, live your life to your full potential, go hard, give it 110%. I'm Cameron Stewart, um, creating change, defining purpose, and defining your purpose is what's going to make you able to get off your backside and go out there and make things happen. So take it easy, guys. Have a good day, and we'll talk to you next time.